Hi there everyone, welcome to your daily dose at home with the Calgary Zoo. My name is Jen and I'm part of the education team here and I'm coming to you from our rainforest classroom. Now you may or may not be familiar with the fact that March 25th is Tolkien Reading Day. In the books, Lord of the Rings books, March 25th is a big day because it's the day that Frodo threw the One Ring into Mount Doom and defeated Sauron. So in the books and movies, one of the best characters is Shelob. She's a giant spider. To celebrate Tolkien Reading Day, we wanted to share some information about one of our favorite spiders here at the zoo. You would have learned about our tarantulas in the Daily Dose, and I want to share some more about the animals that I love here. Now this is Rosita. She's a Canada Day baby, and uh, she's almost 21 years old, and she is the first tarantula I ever met. Before I worked here at the zoo, I uh, not too big on spiders, and uh, as part of our training to work and, and properly handle and care for tarantulas, I got to meet Rosita and I put her in my hands and I was freaking out a little bit, but she was so gentle and she kind of just sort of hung on there and, and hung on to my hands and it was like a fuzzy hug that uh, I fell in love with her. She was, she was beautiful and gorgeous. Rosita is a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. Tarantulas are spiders. And spiders are a part of a larger group called arachnids. Now, what defines an arachnid, or at least what makes it different from an insect, arachnids have eight legs, insects have six. Arachnids have two parts to their body, insects have three, three segments. Arachnids don't have antennae, they don't have wings, insects can. Generally, arachnids can't eat solid food, so they have to eat liquid food. So these are some of the differences. There are hundreds and thousands of arachnids all over the planet. There are about 800 different species of spiders. And as I said, Rosita is one of, from one of those species. Now, Rosita is one of our program animals here at the Calgary Zoo. And that means she's a really important educator. We have about 40 different program animals from spiders to snails to snakes to skinks. Our program animals help participants in our school programs, camps, birthdays get up close and personal with some of these amazing animals like Rosita. And just like with all of our animals here at the zoo, we take their welfare very seriously. They trust us and we trust them. It's like part of a fellowship, if you will. Thank you for joining Rosita and I for your daily dose at home. We're asking you to read or watch some Tolkien. And remember what Samwise Gamgee says, that there is some good in this world and it's worth fighting for.